Good morning, sweeties. Today, we are going to be checking out this beautiful, hollow Agenda 52 planner from Hobby Lobby. And I picked this up because, well, two reasons. One, it exactly matches my personal size planner that is from Michael's and two, it was on clearance for $9.99. So obviously it's a win-win. Right? So let's get into it. As you can see, I have not opened it. So let me get you turned around. Move this back a little bit. This is a six ring planner. Like all of the ones that you buy in the store are really. I want to take this off now. There we go. So opening it up, it has this really pretty constellation type background. Three pockets, one window pocket. And we need scissors. Gold rings, they look to be about 1.25 inches. There we go, we have all of the packing out. So we have three pockets here along with a secretarial type pocket. Gold rings as I said and you guys this is a dated planner. So already we have lost two months basically. But if you do have this in your Hobby Lobby I still feel like it's totally worth the price. Um, you still would have 10 whole months of use with this planner. And of course you can always reuse the binder, print your own pages or buy inserts. This was not the only planner that Hobby Lobby had on clearance. They had probably five or six others. I just like this one the best. So here is the front dashboard type page. Um, it is a little moon phase with a full moon, a half moon, waning and a new. Waning or waxing? I never remember. And here is 2020 on one page, 2021 on the next page, year at a glance. An empty page for maybe, you know, a vision board or something like that. And right into January. So a unicorn. Jan okay, so we have January dreams, adventures, birthdays, and some notes along with holidays right here as well. Month on two pages with a note section and you have your previous month and your next month down here, which I always like. And then we have a week on two pages vertical. That's interesting, big boy. These babies in here right now, I don't know what they're doing. So again, week on two pages, vertical with notes on the side. 
And of course, this will remain the absolute same all the way through the planner. And then at the very end, you have another make a wish type page, maybe monthly notes or planning for the next month or another monthly vision board, whatever you want. February is these gorgeous full moons. I love that. And again, your intro page. And we're going to flip right through because again, it's all the same. I want to look at, okay, that is all the same. Okay, March. Oh, this cute little rainbow. I like that. And again, you guys, these are freestanding. So you can totally use the binder and these dividers, these monthly dividers over and over again, just add your own inserts. So I feel like that's a great bargain. Exactly the same. April, this little chevron design foiled paper. And I really, I do like that it's on both sides. I like that a lot. Ooh, this is pretty. The constellations. This is May. June is all foiled unicorns. July is another little unicorn. That's very pretty. I love the constellation stuff. I love the space galaxy themed. It says follow your dreams if you can't quite make it out. The foiling on this one carries front and back. That's really cool. This was August and here we are in September with a full body shot unicorn. That's really pretty. Sept this was September. We're into October. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. These moons. Oh, amazing. My birth month. So I'm always looking to see what October is. November. all the different moon phases. That is really pretty. And last one is December. That's really pretty as well. And what do we have at the end? Okay, nothing. So at the end, it's just the regular month and that page, the Make-A-Wish page. And then back here, we do have a full size slip pocket right in the back and an elasticized pen holder, completely elasticized pen holder. So let's just see what might fit. This fits, it's tight, but it fits. This is a Papermate flare. See, this is a Stadler. Stadler's fit, no problem. Let's see, this is a mild liner. Oof, that fits super tight, but it fits. Let's see, um, how about a Sharpie pen? Because I love Sharpie pens. I use them quite a lot. So that fits really, really nicely, no problem. I don't feel like any of these big thick pens, like the one from, I mean, yeah, it does fit, but it's really, really tight. See, really tight. I wouldn't want to mess with it on, <laughs> a normal basis. I'm never going to get it out now. Okay, there we go. So your regular size 
two like smaller type pens will fit no problem. This is a little pen towel that fits beautifully. Um, here's one of the gem pens. Of course, they fit really nicely. So regular size pens are going to fit perfect. And that is it, you guys. This is the back of the planner. And it's a snap closure, of course. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, please check out my Patreon and consider supporting me over there. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!